Live from NPR News in Washington, I'm Jack Spear. President Trump says he will announce his decision on whether to pull out of the Paris Climate Accord over the next several days. NPR Scott Horsley reports the president's getting conflicting advice from different quarters of his administration. Trump met Tuesday with EPA Administrator Scott Pruitt, one of the strongest voices calling for the U.S. to drop out of the Paris Accord. He's meeting today with Secretary of State Rex Tillerson, who believes the U.S. should stay in to keep its place at the international bargaining table. With various news outlets reporting that Trump has already decided to withdraw, the president is doing his best to maintain suspense. Trump tweeted he'll announce his next move over the next few days. For all its symbolic importance, the decision may have little practical effect on U.S. carbon emissions. Trump has already taken steps to reverse many of the Obama administration's rules designed to cut greenhouse gases and meet America's Paris climate commitment. Scott Horsley, NPR News, Washington. Officials in Milwaukee have approved a $2.3 million settlement with a family of a mentally ill black man who was fatally shot during a confrontation with a white police officer three years ago. As Marty Michelson from member station WUWM reports, the mayor is expected to sign off on the deal. The Milwaukee Common Council voted unanimously to approve the settlement. Officer Christopher Manny was responding to a complaint of a man sleeping in a park in downtown Milwaukee when he encountered Dontre Hamilton in April of 2014. Manny said he was frisking Hamilton for weapons when Hamilton attacked him. The officer said he fired in self-defense. Hamilton was shot 14 times. Milwaukee's police chief terminated Manny for violating department rules when he confronted Hamilton. The district attorney decided not to charge the officer with a crime. For NPR News, I'm Marty Michelson in Milwaukee. The head of Veterans Affairs is calling on Congress to pass a law that would make it easier to crack down on employee misconduct. VA Secretary David Shulkin saying today veterans' access to medical care has also been significantly improved since the scandal over wait times three years ago that prompted the resignation of the previous secretary. We've developed same-day services in every one of our 168 medical centers for primary care and mental health. And in fact, today, over 22% of veterans are seen on the same-day basis. Shulkin, who served as Undersecretary of Veterans Affairs for Health in the Obama administration, says a review of more than 130 studies and assessments found 13 areas of what he termed significant risk for the VA. Fewer people were buying homes in April. That's according to the National Association of Realtors, which says its pending home sales index fell 1.3% last month. Real estate industry's main trade group says one reason is the smaller supply of homes on the market. On Wall Street today, stocks lost ground. The Dow was down 20 points. The Nasdaq fell 4 points. This is NPR.